Namaste. Welcome to your yoga practice. I'm Janine. Today we're going to do a bit of a fall cleanse of the body. So some powerful, uh, a couple powerful poses uh, to warm up the inner body and free us from whatever is no longer serving us. Just like the leaves on the tree are falling, we want to let go of what doesn't serve us. So please take a comfortable seat and I'll read our opening. The highest purpose for practicing yoga is to create optimal conditions in the body-mind so that we can be open to the flow of grace, experience our true nature, and enjoy life. On the physical level, this requires that we maintain good circulation, blood, and breath, digestion, immune function. By maintaining the above, we, produce, we protect our body from toxins that might cloud our perception and experience of who we are and who we are at our core, who we know we are at our core. And that block, and, and also that block the flow of prana. Prana is the life force. It is this very force that animates all of life and through which the power of grace flows. Grace is the voice of our hearts and the force that helps guide us towards what is important and towards the enjoyment of that truth. Let's chant Om. Om. Please come to all fours and let's move. So just move your hips, you know, stretch in any way that feels good. Again, releasing any tensions that don't serve you anymore. Circle the other way. As we release tensions, the heart becomes more clear and we can connect more deeply into our core. Come back to center. Take downward facing dog and walk your feet forward. Inhale and rise up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale and fold forward. Feet are parallel here. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Send your right foot back, knee down to the floor. Lift your arms, reach up. And then exhale into downward facing dog. Shift forward into plank. And on your next exhalation, bring your knees, chin, and chest to the floor into eight-point pose. Inhale, curl the tailbone under. Press the top of your feet down and radiate out as you hug your shoulder blades onto the back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Keep the center of your body strong. Inhale, step your right foot forward. And this time, bring your knee down to the floor in the back. Keeping your knee down, lift up, knees at 90 degrees. Reach your arms up, turn your wrists, your palms out, and attach your hands, lace your fingers. Lift up through the center of your body. Take a deep breath in, fill the sides of your waist, and then hug in, hug in, connecting to your truth, connecting to the space within that will lead you to freedom. From here, lean over to your right. Draw the right buttock under and press into your feet. Inhale, come back up to center. Extend your arms. This time, lifting your back thigh. Inhale, lift your knee. Extend up. Same thing. This time, interlace your fingers. Index fingers pointing up. Exhale, lean to your right once, ag uh, once again. Inhale up. Exhale, left. Press out through your legs. Inhale, come up. And extend long through both sides of your body. Release your hands down. Step forward and fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, send your arms up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway up, step your left foot back, knee to the ground. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, eight-point pose. Inhale, cobra. 
Tailbone reaches far away from the back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot forward as you inhale. And the same thing as we did on the other side, lower your back knee, come up, knees at 90 degrees, hips parallel to the front. Reach your arms up, change the cross of your wrists, interlace your fingers. Lift up through the sides of your waist and as you exhale, lean to your left. Stretch long through the right side of your body, but draw the left buttock underneath you. Deep breaths, purifying the inner body, getting rid of whatever doesn't serve you so that you can enjoy life. Radiate from the center of your body out. Inhale to center, reach your arms up, lift your back knee, crescent lunge. Back heel rises up, drawing from your feet to your core, to the core of your pelvis. And then interlacing your fingers, index fingers up. Exhale again to the left. Inhale up. Exhale this time right. Left buttock lowers down. Inhale, center. Exhale, full stretch. Press out through your legs, lengthen. So the bottom ribs in. And then exhale, hands down. Step forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to the heart, Samastitihi. Sit in chair, inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, bring the weight over your heels, a little bit more into the heels, activate the back of your legs, and then bend your knees. Draw the tailbone down. Interlace your hands behind your back, open your chest, inhale, and then exhale, fold forward, straighten your legs to your capacity without over-rounding or stressing the lower back. Keep the knees bent so that you can hinge more deeply in the hips if that's the case. Bring your hands down to the floor, step your left foot back, bring your knee down and swing your foot over to the right. So your back foot over to the right. Sit back behind your foot. Ardha Matsyandrasana, bend your right knee. It can be in front of the ankle or cross the legs a little bit more. So you, both sitting bones are down. Lengthen your spine and twist to your right. Inhale here, lift your left arm. Exhale, wrap the arm around your leg or bring the elbow to the outside of the leg. Palm facing up, fingertips facing up. Turn your chest to the right, the hips to the left. Deep breaths. Feel the power coming from your core. Exhaling, the, you can feel the heat in the body, the heat burning whatever no longer serves you. Inhale, back to center, right foot to the right, come forward and step your feet forward, Uttanasana. Right leg back, knee to the floor, swing your foot to the left side of your mat and sit behind your legs. Again, you can always just switch. <laughs> Again, we're trying to create some heat. The, foot, the left foot can be in front of the ankle or cross the legs more. Just make sure that wherever you are, your both sitting bones are down. So only go where the sitting bones are down. Inhale, lengthen the spine, twist to your left. Right arm up, wrap it around the leg or bring the elbow to the outside of your leg for a deeper twist. Yeah, maintain the alignment. No use going deeper into the pose if you're going to come out of the alignment, right? So what we want, we want to let go of what no longer serves us, but we don't want to take on more baggage. <laughs> we don't swap one baggage for another baggage. <laughs> Inhale, come back to center. This time, take your feet over. So just take your feet in front and we'll turn to face the long edge of the mat and bring the feet over to the uh, right hip. Okay, so you have lots of space on the left side of your mat. Inhale here and as you exhale, turn to your left. So it's like Bharadvajasana, the feet kind of sitting on one another, the knees are slightly separated. And then bring your belly down like Chaturanga into a push-up position. Inhale, push yourself up, lift your arms, kind of drawing a, uh, a, a rainbow over your head, 
twist to the right, and then reverse. Left arm up, draw the rainbow over to the right, uh, over to the left, and chaturanga. Inhale to press up. Exhale and twist. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, come down. And then inhale up. And swing your feet to the other side. Sitting in the center of the mat. Feet to the left. Hands to the right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Walk your hands forward. Chaturanga. It's like a push-up. Keep your chest wide. Inhale, push yourself up. Arms, sweep the sky over to the left. Inhale, sweep the sky over to the right. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, sweeping the sky. Inhale, sweeping the sky to the right. And then inhale to come up. And exhale, straighten your legs. Reach both arms up. Lean back, bend your knees, lift up, navasana. Legs up, you can keep your knees bent as well. You can also reach your arms forward if it's overheating. So full pose would be legs straight, arms straight, but your full pose might be bent knees, straight arms. So go where you can kind of heat up the body without taking on more baggage. <laughs> And then release all the way down. Good. Good. A few times lifting and lowering into bridge. Set your feet up parallel the legs, parallel the feet. And like a wave, inhale, lift your hips, lift your arms. The arms reach back. Exhale, bring them down, hips down. Two more. Inhale, nice and easy. Feel the splendor of the movement. And then either rest in Shavasana or I'll invite you to find a wall or find a chair that you can place your legs on. And you'll come close to a wall, Viparita Karani. So legs up the wall. Bring your hips as close as possible to the wall. And rest here. Make sure your lower back is relaxed. So your buttocks or your pelvis is nice and heavy on the floor. You can also do this just with a chair. If you don't have a wall free, you can put your legs just on the seat of the chair and just rest them there on your sofa on your edge of the bed and relax let go of the effort of the legs without letting them drop feel the circulation and when we do these types of practices, we're opening the energetic circuits, not just on the subtle level, but the subtle level also has benefits on the physical level where we're increasing circulation of blood and breath, improving digestion, improving hormone balance. And just as the practice can improve those things, the practice can also, if we're not practicing mindfully, the practice can also hurt us. So it's important to really respect the boundaries of the body, respect our limitations. And grow progressively. Take your time to complete your Shavasana, complete your, po your relaxation. And then when you're ready, you'll bend your knees and you'll roll to your right side to come up to sitting. Sit for a moment. And we'll close with the sound of Om. Feel free to stay in your relaxation pose if you wish. Oh.
breathe and be well. Namaste.